They're all cool. They're all pretty neat. We could crash something into a uh, into Jewel. That'd be fun too. Let's go to let's go to Lathe. Let's go see what it looks like. So apparently, apparently it has oceans and an atmosphere. Yep, that's about it. But it's excited enough for today's mission, so we're going to Lathe. Lathe is one of Jewel's many moons, which means it's quite far and will take some heavy planning to reach. But after doing some test missions to Drez prior to this, I was pretty confident we could pull it off. We start off the mission by cooking up this simple little rover. Nothing too exciting or flashy, just something to get the job done. We then slap together a simple rocket with a nuclear middle stage and get on our way. Now this mission starts off pretty simple. The rocket gets into orbit around Kerbin, leaves Kerbin's sphere of influence, and then we get on track to intercept Jewel. We're not doing any fancy orbital assists, just old fashioned clunky maneuvers. Eventually along this mission, however, we realize a few issues. For one, we simply did not pack enough mono propellant. Our RCS was on track to run dry, meaning our ability to steer would eventually run out. If that wasn't bad enough, the ranky little solar panels I attached were nowhere good enough for missions at such long distances from the sun, or Kerbal, I guess, meaning we are going to run out of battery as well. These two issues meant having to do some simple redesigns and relaunching the mission. After making it past the same previous steps, we arrive in the Joule system, create an orbit around Joule, then get on an intercept course for Lathe itself. After some tinkering and maneuver building, we finally get on track to collide with Lathe in a location we're satisfied with. From here, I will let you watch what happened live. Should come in pretty fast soon. See what kind of orbital speed we're working with. We're still on pace to hit land. That's good. We haven't entered atmosphere yet. I get that. But still sort of on pace. So we've established the atmosphere starts at 50,000 meters. What does that mean? Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a burn before we hit atmosphere, it looks like. Because Okay, well, for one, my map is moving without my permission. I guess trying to track the vessel, but I'm trying to move it back and it's fighting me. Uh, okay. So... We could try to hit these air from the texture. It looks like it's a bit more reasonable. We're looking at this. That's what we're hitting. Uh, let's turn SAS and RCS on. Let's face retrograde. Let's try to hit these beaches over here. This looks like a slope we can try to aim for. Something we can keep our eyes on. So what are we going to do? We're going to kill a little bit of speed. Not a lot, just a little. We're coming in harsher than last time. We gotta remember that. Which means we have less time for the atmosphere to work its magic. Okay. I mean, we're moving two kilometers a second relative to the moon right now. Keep killing, keep killing. See, we're already much closer to this landmass that we're looking at. Okay, keep killing, keep killing. Let's chill on killing for now we might do some burning well we probably will do some burning while in atmo if we have to to kill some speed gotta remember this atmosphere is about as dense as Kerbin, so we can expect the same kind of slowing effect that we would when just doing a normal mission okay we are almost in atmosphere probably going to do some burning again my map view is a little funky not a fan what are you going to do Let's keep burning. Now, we can see that we're struggling to face retrograde now that we're starting to get some, you know, some drag going on, some atmospheric resistance. That's okay. We don't want to overdo it, but we're still on pace to hit land. That's good. It looks like we are going to hit land. That's a very good thing. Uh-oh. We're kind of wobbling. We have to fight to stay facing retrograde. That's okay. I think we can... Cut those for now. The atmosphere is slowing us down. We have relative to the ground. Our altitude. We're coming in. Keep it going. Why are we spinning? 
Oh, the RCS is struggling. I see. Uh, let's, let's just kind of punch it a little bit and then cut this. Okay. Should be able to dump that. Hey, why are we spinning? Why are we spinning? Why are we spinning? Don't spin. Don't spin. Don't spin. Do we not have RCS? Oh, I didn't turn the RCS on. Oh, it's so weird. It prioritizes the mono propellant up there. Okay. Um, let's check in on our drogue shoots. Shouldn't have to pop them for a little bit. Right now, their shoot safety is safe. Deploy settings. You think I could just pop them if they're already safe? They'll deploy when they can, right? We're popping the drogues. Uh oh. Uh, I hope I didn't get a little too close to the water. Did I burn too much? No. No. We will hit land. Is that land or water that is that wet land or is that water with land underneath it? No. Where does the water begin? I can't tell. I might be devastated in a moment here. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Hit land. Hit land. I don't want to redo it all. Okay, no. You just gotta trust. You just gotta trust. We're gonna do this. We got this. We got this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe. Here, wait. We do have some control of the vessel still. What we just gotta do is... Oh. Wait. Okay, now we're just spinning. Shoot. The engines weren't popped yet. Are the drogues? Not the drogues. The normal safe to be deployed? They are. Let's do one of these. can kind of burn in the right direction. Burn. Cut it. Burn. Cut it. Burn. Cut it. Okay, hold. Hold. We got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. It looks like we're gonna hit land. It's looking good. Burn. Keep it going. The normal shoot should pop soon. Looks to me like we're hitting hitting land, y'all. We're landing right on a beach. Yes. Yes. It's happening. Still a little close. But, <laughs> okay, so we know we kind of come in nose down, but the shoots will adjust, get us to face up right in a moment, I believe. Just have some fuel in the tank so we can kind of punch it last second if we have to. But we're looking good. Looks like we are, in fact, gonna be touching down on land. Oh, God, wait. There's some water effects over there. Let's just keep, let's keep drifting sideways. Not quite the way I'm trying to fire. Come on, come on. Uh, it's a little close, y'all. It's a little close. Spin faster. Spin faster. Spin us around. We got to do a little bird. You're facing the wrong way. No. Spin, 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 spin. It's not spinning. How shallow is that water? That water's gotta be shallow enough, right? Please. Careful. Come on. Uh, I can't tell how shallow it is. We're almost good to punch the engines. Punch them, punch them, punch them. Go that way, go that way. Oh, God. The engines kind of pull on it, so... Uh-oh. Now we're not even going to land tires down. I fucked up. Everyone, I fucked up. No! We were so close. I don't want to revert. We're right there. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait. Oh. I think we might have to revert, y'all. The water physics are a little broken in this. Uh oh. Oh, man, we're right there. Stop spinning, damn it. Hold. Hold. Oh, stop spinning. Why is it still spinning? Please, don't tip backwards. Extend. Push. No. Push. Oh. We did it! Wait, did we do it? Careful. The gravity's a little bit... Wait for it. We did it! We did it! Turn the brakes on, hold on. We did it! We still have a solar panel standing too. Can we drive with? Oh, I have the brakes on. That's, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. We were fighting the brakes. Let's go. I was really confused. It's low gravity, we shouldn't be heavy. Shouldn't go too fast though, right? We're gonna tip. Low gravity. These rocks don't actually have hitboxes, I don't think. Thank God. Oh, we should not be doing any turns while going that fast. Let's go! We're on the beaches of Lathe. That's awesome. That's really cool.